Okay. Howdy, my name is Kevin Garcia. My pronouns are he, him. I am a student employee here at the LGBTQ plus Pride Center. Today with us, we have Dr. CB for our third and final Mindfulness November event. So hi, Dr. CB. Hello. How are you? Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, of course. Excited, excited for this, uh, this, this grounding exercise. So can you uh, walk us a little bit about uh, what we're going to do today? Yeah, absolutely. Um, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Dr. CB. Uh, I'm a psychologist at CAPS. And as the holidays approach, I wanted to provide a meditation for coping with negative feelings. I'm hoping that this will be a helpful tool since most folks um, may be traveling to non-affirming environments. And I'm hoping that by trying out this meditation with us today, you'll have another uh, tool in your back pocket for coping with holiday-related stress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. That's a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Holidays can be kind of tough. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, begin the meditation here in just a moment. And if you find that this is a helpful tool for you, um, there will be information about how to obtain um, the link to the website where these materials um, originated. It's from the UCLA Mindfulness Awareness Re Research Center. Say that right. <laughs> and um, there you will find audio recordings and additional um, PDF scripts of other mindfulness exercises you can utilize. And they are all for free. So I'm happy to report on that. <laughs> That's awesome, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, always here for the free resources. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and um, I also think that they recently came out with an app uh, for mindfulness. So um, awesome. yeah, just, just another Working great avenue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. Okay, all right. Well, I will um, get started here in a moment. And um, as we approach the end of the meditation, um, I will let you know that we are coming to a close and um, then we will um, we will check in to see how uh, how that how the experience went for you Kevin and um, hopefully see that it is helpful for folks at home as well yes, yes. all right okay so for this meditation, you can use this practice to work with difficult emotions or body sensations, either one. First, you'll find a posture that's comfortable to you. And check inside your body and try to locate a part of your body that feels good to you right now. Pleasant, safe, at ease, or at the very least, neutral. You can check out your hands or feet or legs, but let your attention go to this pleasant part of your body. Hands or feet or wherever you've cho chosen and let your attention rest there. Feel it. Sense it. Notice what those sensations are. Let your mind relax a bit, feeling that part of the body. And now if there's something difficult that's happening for you, a difficult emotion or a physical sensation that's hard, let your attention go to that. So it may be an aching in your shoulder or back, could be a headache, could be a sense of sadness or anxiety or even anger. Where do you feel that sensation in your body? Where do you feel that emotion in your body? Notice it. Just notice it for one moment. Tap into it. Feel it. Make sure to breathe. And now return 
your attention back down to the area that feels at ease. Your hands or feet or legs. And just let yourself stay there for a moment. Feeling it, sensing it, relaxing, maintaining the mindfulness, yet giving yourself a break from what could be potentially overwhelming to feel. Now, once again, return your attention to that part of the body that feels unpleasant, the body ache or pain, or the emotion of the sensations of the emotion in your body, the vibrations in your chest, or clenching in your belly, or the tightness in your jaw. Just notice and breathe and let it be there. Let whatever you feel be there. And then bring your attention again back to the pleasant or neutral part of the body. Hands, feet, so forth. Relaxing, staying present and alert, feeling the safety, the connection that is in place. Let yourself stay connected to this place. But see if you can cast what we might call a sidelong glance at the difficult area in your body. Is it possible to still feel connected to your body in the area that feels good or unpleasant or neutral? And yet know there's something going on that feels unpleasant and just let it be there. Keeping maybe 75% of your attention on the part that feels peaceful and at ease. Still breathing, casting the sidelong glance at this difficult area. Noticing what happens to it. Is it growing? Is it shrinking? Is it changing, shifting into something else? Becoming aware of whatever it's doing. Relaxing, breathing. And now see if you can bring yourself some loving kindness just some kindness to yourself for whatever you're feeling right now. Physical pain, emotional pain. Hold yourself with kindness. You're not the only one. So may we all be free from our pain and our suffering. And may we all have happiness. And whenever you're ready, bring your attention back to the present moment. And start by wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes. And if you have your eyes closed, you may gently open them and return your focus to whatever room you're in. And noticing the difference between how you felt before we started and how we feel now. And like I mentioned before, now we'll check in with Kevin to see how this experience went for him. Yeah, I really liked it. It was really good. I, uh, I liked the um, going back and forth of like um, feeling 
the pleasant or like the comfortable neutral part of your body and then going to the like the part that's not as comfortable um yeah and uh like you said at the beginning focus on like uh like it's comfort that you have like emotional and where you feel it in your body yeah I, like that made me think like differently on like how I was feeling and it like made me realize that I had a lot of tension like on my neck and my shoulders oh yeah that's that's a real popular one <laughs> yeah yeah so uh yeah that was really good and like changing from like the the emotional to physical makes it more I guess manageable because you can you can like help the like physical discomfortness by like like rearranging yourself so that that really helped me yeah absolutely I'm I'm glad that it was helpful and um physical pain you know we I think we're a bit more familiar sometimes with how to help ourselves with that but um emotional pain is similar because there are also things we can do to help ourselves feel better in the midst of that as well mm -hmm. and um it's honestly just a matter of practice taking uh skills like this and practicing them on on a daily basis as you're yeah. able to mm -hmm. i know that finals are coming up and so time is short for folks yeah. <laughs> totally understandable <laughs> um you'd be surprised at how an investment of just a five or ten minutes um you know a few times a week can make a big difference in mm -hmm. your mental health and if that doesn't feel like it's completely addressing everything please feel free to come say hello to us at CAPS and um, we are here for you and uh, looking forward to connecting with our students and um, I'm here for you and if anybody ever needs anything um, be happy to talk with folks just feel free to reach out to me um, and uh, we'll figure out what could be most helpful. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dr. Sibi. It was You're welcome. So good. I feel so relaxed. <laughs> good. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Well, uh, yeah, like uh, Dr. Sibi said, um, definitely check out CAPS and follow them on their social media. I think it's Tamu underscore CAPS. Uh, so you, get, uh, you can be aware of all the uh, events that they have going on. And definitely check out our uh, social media and sign up for our newsletter because that's how we get all the information out to folks and people that want to participate in our events. And we also have our Rainbow Relaxing Day starting on Monday, next Monday. And so that, that's another way for uh, folks to have a little time to de-stress and uh, get ready for their, their finals. Excellent. That's great stuff, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you so much.